Are you ready to have some fun? Today we're going to make a pinwheel that spins just like these. Let's get started. To make our pinwheel, we need a piece of paper. It can be white or colored. We need scissors. We need a pencil with an eraser. Then we need a straw and a glue stick and we need a pin. Now, I like the pins that have the little balls on the end because it's easy to use, but you could use another kind of pin. But a pin is good. Now you could use a push pin, but it's better if it's a little bit longer. And you can, if you have the little, the little beads, these little uh, colorful beads, you could use that, but we're gonna use a straw for what we need the, for that part. Okay, the first thing we need to do is fold the paper in half so the short sides are touching because we're going to cut the paper in half and if we fold it, it makes it very easy to see where to cut. All right, so I've got my fold. Now I'm going to cut along that line where I folded. And so now I've got two pieces of paper. I don't need them both because only one side is needed for the pinwheel. So I'm gonna put this aside. Now, we're gonna take one of the corners and we're gonna fold it part way down so that we make a triangle. And this part, this corner here, we want it to make a little point, okay? And we press it down. Now we have a lot of extra here. We don't need that. We're gonna cut that off right along this edge. Okay, so you've got your triangle. Now we're gonna take this point up here and we're gonna fold it down to this point. Okay, so we point it, fold it down, press it down. Now we have a smaller triangle, don't we? There's our bigger triangle. Here's our smaller one. Now when we open it up all the way, is it gonna still be a triangle? It's a square. Okay, so now we have a square. And we have all of these lines from where we folded and that's gonna help us know what to do next. First of all, get your pencil that you're gonna to use to write with and we're gonna make a little dot right in the center, right where all of those lines meet, okay? Now we're going to cut part way on each of these lines. We don't wanna go all the way to the center. We're going a little more than halfway. Something like that, okay? On all of these lines. Okay. And one more cut. Okay, so you can see we have them cut just part way. All right, now I need the pencil again because I'm gonna put a little dot on each, on, on some of the little corners, okay? So on this part, I'm gonna put a dot right here, okay? But I'm not gonna put it on this side. And then I come over to the next little part. I'm gonna put it on the same side as I did over here but not over here. And then I come to this side and I'm gonna put another dot over here, but not over here. And one more, put a dot right here, there. Okay, now I am going to get my glue stick and I'm gonna put a little glue on each of those dots, okay? Make sure that it's enough, but we don't wanna, we don't wanna glue this part just make sure you're getting it on your dot. Okay, and I'm putting some over on this dot and putting some on this dot. So all four of my dots should have some glue. Okay. All right, now I'm gonna take one of those dots that I glued and I'm gonna bring it down and I'm gonna put it on top of 
the dot in the middle. Now, it's okay if it goes over. It kind of needs to go over so that we don't see the dot in the middle. All right, now, as I bring it over, I'm curling it over. I'm not folding it over. We don't want it to fold or it won't spin very well. So I'm putting it there and I'm only going to press the part that I put down. Do you see how it leaves it open here? Okay. All right, now you gotta press it hard. If it doesn't stay, then put a, put a little glue in the middle and a little more glue here. You, you probably have to hold it there for just a minute. Okay, get your finger there. All right, now let's do the same thing with the next one. Put this away and we're going to curl it around and put it on top of that one and hold it down for a minute. Pull it really hard, you push hard. If, you, if it doesn't have enough glue, add more glue because you want it to have quite a bit of glue on that, on that dot. Okay, do you see how it's curled around? It's not folded down. Here's another corner. I'm gonna bring this over and I'm gonna press it right there in the middle without folding it. Okay, do you see that? All right, I have one more. I'm gonna put a little more glue on this side. Just wanna make sure it has enough. And I'm gonna bring it over and press it down, press it enough so that it looks like this, all right? Now, one thing that's fun to do is to put a little circle in the middle and you can get a coin or you can simply, if you have your glue stick, you can simply trace around it to make a circle. So, I've made a circle on here and now I'm gonna cut that out. Okay, and I don't need this. Now I'm going to put some glue right here in the middle and I'm gonna press down this right here. Now, sometimes these little, these corners that you push down keep wanting to pop up and it's okay just keep putting glue on and hold it down just make sure you've got lots of glue all right now we're ready to push our pin through the center and sometimes that's a little bit tricky without poking yourself so here's a little trick I like to do you can do this on a carpet or you can get a little washcloth or a towel and put it underneath so that it has something soft to push onto all right now here's my little pin. We want to push down right in the very, very center. So I'm gonna push it down and I'm pushing it into this towel so that it doesn't poke my finger. So now I've got the pin right there. Okay, and it's sticking out a little bit. You can push it down all the way, but we want to then get our pencil we're going to push it into our pencil eraser, but we need to use a piece of a straw or a bead to go on the end of the pin before we put it on the eraser. So with the straw, we want to cut off just a little piece. Um, you want it to be able to fit over the edge of your pin so a little bit less than the how long the pin is sticking out, okay? So I'm gonna cut this and be, be careful as you cut it because pieces of straw like to fly right away. So I'm gonna cut it right here by the table, okay? And put the straw over the edge of the pin like that. So you still have some pin sticking out and the part that's sticking out, you're going to stick right into the eraser of your pencil. Push hard. It might be good to have an adult help you. Now, if you can see, I have the straw here and the eraser. So there's a little space between the pinwheel and 
the stick. Now it needs to have that so that it has room to spin without touching the pencil. And then you can blow it. See how cool that is? One thing that you can do is to decorate your own paper before you make it into a pinwheel. Now when you decorate it, you only want to decorate around the edges because this part in the middle will not show. This one is one that I decorated and on the back you can see I decorated partly in the middle but this part right here doesn't even show. So that's why you don't need to go very far. But you can decorate your own before you cut it and before you put it on your stick. But you can see how fun it is when it's just one color too. So you can blow it to make it turn or you can move it really fast. Do you see how it spins when you move it? Or you can take it out on a windy day. If you run with it, it's so fun because as you run, it, it spins by itself. And another fun thing to do is turn on a fan and watch it blow while the fan is on. Hold it in front and it blows really well. So let me turn on a fan and we'll see how that works. So now it's your turn to make a pinwheel. You can make one that, that is just a plain color or you can decorate your own. Be as creative as you want and then have fun watching it spin. And we'll have some more fun next time. Bye!